Well, some some of it is difficult to say because you're stopping things taking place. Therefore, you've never seen them take place. So you, you don't see the change because it wasn't a change because it never happened. So if, you, if you're shielding the earth from external influences and that influence doesn't happen, something that would have been a result of that external influence didn't happen. So you can't point to it and say, well, that didn't happen because <laughs> it never happened. You stopped it happening. So one of the, one of the practical things was um, when engaging the earth shield with a group, we looked into the earth and we saw some voids. In other words, some dark spaces where we couldn't see what was going on which drew our attention and eventually I managed to penetrate the void and found one of the things was over Yellowstone National Park and there were three angelic beings who were devastation, destruction and construction who were seeking to cause devastation, to destabilize the economy of the world and other things um, in a way which was not going to be helpful. And so we engaged those beings reminded them of who they were, saw them restored. And then that, I mean, because essentially it's got a massive volcano under that thing that could basically devastate most of the US if, if, if it ever went up. So we stopped it, you know? Um, and so that was the sense, but you couldn't say, all you can say is that it didn't actually blow up, you know, or didn't erupt. <laughs> you know, you can't, you can't sort of say, well, this happened. You can say this didn't happen. So a lot of the things you're doing in shielding the earth, you're stopping things happening rather than making things happen. But there are things in which, you know, releasing love, you know, seeing love impact people, you know, keeping fear under control, you know, things like that, which you know, are going on, which are positive things, you know, engaging the planets to bring frequencies to the earth, which will bring about increase in health and well-being now obviously you've got disruption to all of that with wars and you know all that stuff going on in a negative sense but you know that's pretty much been happening right throughout history you know we have to look about how do we administrate peace well you know you can't administrate peace with war you know because you've got to come in the opposite spirit to what's going on so how do you administrate peace well look to forgive those who are committing war for the first place don't get angry bitter or resentful to those like right now in in russia you got putin well choose to forgive him and release him don't get angry with him or try and because all that does is fuel the conflict amen the enemy works in in division conflict you know competition conflict and tribalism well that's exactly what you would see what's happening with russia and ukraine you know they want to eventually create a tribe which is out of the conflict that they have created. But obviously God does not want that because God wants, his heart is for union and covenant and peacemaking and blessing in family. You know, so whenever you see the negative, we've got to start administrating in the positive. And I think that's that's the key, that positive administration of what God is doing um, to make sure that we're operating in sonship in such a way that is participating in the way God does it, not trying to operate in how the world does it. So spiritual warfare and battling and that, that's just not the way it's more conflict. We need to remove conflict, not not produce more of it uh, so i think a lot of what christians do is producing more conflict thinking they're doing something good and actually all they're doing is stoking the fires and making it worse really. so you know we've got to be peacemakers now am i saying that we should just roll over and let ukraine fall into the russian hands no but the way we do it and i think the world has pretty much come together around it not wanting to go into a, a whole global conflict so they're trying to do it you know using some sense of wisdom but would try and use other ways of minimizing the conflict now obviously arm in the ukraine you know obviously is you know 
is one way that they've chosen to do it so that you can ukraine can stand and fight that themselves now ultimately is that helping peace well maybe in one way i don't know i don't i mean i would not want to be a world government in world government to try and sort out all these situations it's like you know it's not an easy thing and there are no simple answers to it you know it's you just sort of well what would i do i don't know you know it's like obviously i would use spiritual dynamics to bring about changing people's hearts you know for people to realize what is going on so the, the deception of you know russia deceiving their population about this is we're only taking back what's ours and all of that you want that exposed so you want the truth so you want to administrate the truth to come to light so for me that you know i look at different ways seeking heavenly strategies um, rather than earthly ones you know the governments are the governments they're doing their best one way or another and you know at the moment they've not brought us into global conflict which is you know could have easily happened if you had a few warmongers who wanted to force the issues you know i mean they they could they could do it very quickly if they admitted you know ukraine into nato because nato would then be forced to you know Thank support you. ukraine and come and bear arms against whoever is opposing them well that that would be a disaster right now but they're doing what they think is right in making sure that Russia, Ukraine are supported in their defense of their nation. But our, a war is not ideal in any circumstance or situation. But I don't think also just giving up and giving in to tyranny is also wrong. So you've got to find a, an av And I've been quite impressed with the Ukraine's attitude and the ukrainians attitude to a lot it's not sort of very jingoistic in in which could have been and they're just just patiently looking to take back more and more and more territory and they're having success you know um but they're a very difficult one but the earth shield you know is where you would be administrating make sure nothing external was seeking to bring about more conflict or using the conflict in a more devastating way or, or you know stoking the fires of conflict so making sure there's no external influence from other dimensions or other beings that are seeking to you know, negatively impact what's happening on the earth but it, but they're very complex issues you know, i certainly wouldn't want to be a politician trying to work out and with an earthly sense what it is you know even even from a kingdom governmental sense as sons well, how is conflict going to end? Well, more people coming in to be in one family, ultimately. You know, so that means an awakening to who they are, realizing that actually Russians, Ukrainians, Chinese, Americans, British, and all of them, we're all one family. Amen. And God wants to see ourselves that way. Therefore, we're not going to compete or fight or have conflict because there's no need when you see yourselves as family.